Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here. Today, I have a ridiculous video for you guys in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. The first thing is going to be this pretty crazy 3v1 where I am just destroying these three guys. But then, I realized something was going on. This guy was doing a crazy glitch that I really just want to show you guys because Rockstar really needs to fix this because I could see this being abused. And the way that these guys were actually using this glitch was pretty ridiculous just because this would have been a 3v1 against an average player. Then they would have absolutely destroyed the average player and probably made him rage quit. And it's really just cheap what they're doing. And you're going to see that in this video. So... The main thing I want you guys to pay attention to is my compass because you need to see where this posse leader is spawning because you're going to see some crazy stuff. And then later on in the video, you'll see it firsthand on how this is actually working and why this is so dumb. Alrighty, guys. Well, here we go. And the first thing you're going to see is this guy's going to attack me. And I don't know why he attacked me. I was actually just kind of minding my own business. And then he attacked me and he had a posse. So I'm like, okay, I guess it's time to fight. Now, I actually had a posse at the time, but they were like all the way in Blackwater, which this is the Heartland. So I was on the other side of the map. I was trying to go duck hunting, like legitly. That's what I was doing over here. And then I was attacked. So I decided, you know, okay, I'm going to teach these guys a little bit of a lesson because I like it when it's like 3v1 or 4v1 or whatever. It's a lot of fun. It's an easy way of getting a lot of experience. People always ask me, how do I level up so much or so fast? And the way I do it is literally by doing things like this, where if I'm attacked by a large posse, I just sit there and fight them. And I kill them way more than they kill me. And I get a ton of experience for doing this. Now, these guys were talking mad crap. Now, I was in party chat for most of this, but at one point, I actually went to ask them, like, you know, what are you guys doing? Like, why are you attacking me? Why are you still coming after me? Because I would have gave up. Like, if it was me on the other side receiving this beatdown, I would have just said, okay, let's get out of here. Like, this guy, we're not touching him. We're not killing him. We're dying over and over again. Let's just get out of here. But no, this is the ultimate example of diehards. Not tryhards because they're not doing anything. They're not good, but they're just dying. That's all they do. They don't give up. So they just keep coming after you over and over again. But I went to talk to them, and of course, you know, they are they were really upset. Like, once I actually went to talk to them, because if this was going on for probably about 20 minutes of me killing them nonstop, 1v3, and they were very, very, very salty about it. And of course, it was all the common things that you always hear, like, Oh, you're using Deadeye. Oh, you're on a horse. Now, the horse thing will come into play later. That It's really funny that they actually were complaining about me being on a horse. Because I guess they think that when you're on a horse, you're like so hard to kill or to deal with. I've never had a problem dealing with a person on a horse. In my opinion, it's much better to be on foot. You can dodge. You can aim a lot better on foot than you can on the horse. A lot of people just can't aim properly on the horse. They don't really like fighting on a horse. And they much prefer to fight on foot, which is understandable. But like I said, these guys were complaining about that. And if you haven't already noticed, this guy, the posse leader, is spawning really close to me every single time. But because I'm on a horse, whenever he spawns, I'm able to kind of like ride away to be somewhat at distance from this guy so that he's not literally right up on me. Now, if he was using a shotgun, maybe he would actually be able to get me. But he's trying to like dual wield pistols. But his main thing, which I figured out later, was melee. That's what he was doing. He was trying to melee people. And it's a glitch that he's doing, which at the time I had no idea about this glitch. And we looked it up later to try to figure out what is this guy doing? Because clearly this is something's wrong here. He's spawning literally two feet away from the person who killed him. Because I didn't know at first because I'm the only one over here. But when my friends actually come over here, because I told him like, you guys need to get over here because you got to see this. This is kind of crazy with this guy spawning. And when they came over there and they were killing him, he was always spawning next to them. And they, he was no longer spawning next to me anymore. But yeah, literally, like, it's a crazy glitch where you can spawn, like, two feet away from the person who killed you. And it is ridiculous, especially when you have a setup like they do. I guess this is what they were doing. They were trying to find, like, one guy 
to just harass or to kill or whatever. And then what they would do is they would have the two players with like long range rifles that could like fight at range. And you just have the one guy who spawns next to the dude over and over again to try to melee him, to try to throw him off. Because see, you have to deal with that guy. He's right up on you every single time. So you really need to try to take him out first before you actually deal with the other ones. And it's just annoying. He also just dodges around a lot. He doesn't really do anything besides just dodge when he's at distance to try to get you to focus on him so his buddies can actually take you out from range. And it just is incredibly frustrating. It was frustrating me at first because he was dodging so much. He was literally like just sitting there and spawning right next to me. And I had to constantly aim at him. I had to constantly take him out as quickly as I could knowing that he was just going to pistol me or whatever. Now that went on for a long time, that 3v1 there. Now this was after my second death, which I pretty much did the same thing again. It went on and on and on, me killing them over and over again, and finally they, they took me down and killed me. Now this time, I didn't get on my horse right away, which I really regret it, because I could see like why this is so horrible, because I'm once again killing them over and over again, and look at this guy. Literally, he spawns so close to me that he is in tackle range, and because he's invincible when he spawns, you can't do anything about that. Your only real option is to try to shotgun him or to try to melee him back, to try to tackle him if you can before he can tackle you. So it's like crazy. Now at this point, this is when my friends came over and I told them, okay, I'm going to deal with the other two because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to run up to shoot us while we're distracted by their posse leader. That's what their strategy is basically. So if I can have my friends over here to literally just spawn kill this posse leader it's not gonna be a problem because i'll just take out the other two over and over again which this went on for so long this was about two hours long of us literally doing this and killing this posse leader over and over again on spawn and killing his friends as well because i just kept killing them non-stop just because they were doing this but you can literally see this guy spawning out of the air which is not the normal spawn now, if you guys don't know about this glitch, we looked it up and figured out what it was. Apparently, it's something to do with the post office or something like that. I think it's maybe just the post office, but you have to have someone like hogtie you and drag you out of the post office. And I don't know the rest. I guess maybe they tie you up or something like that. But that causes a glitch to occur, which will allow you to then spawn next to the person that kills you every single time. And if you're set up for, I guess, melee or whatever, like, that's what you do. Like, you just literally tackle people and you kill them to get revenge on them if they kill you. And, like I said, it's really cheap, especially when it's 3v1 or whatever they were trying to do. Because, like I said, they attacked me, but I wasn't attacking them. They literally shot at me first, and they were trying to start stuff with me. Just a, you know, solo guy just doing whatever he, I was doing, which... I mean, obviously, if I'm in the Heartlands, I'm probably just hunting or something. I'm not doing anything over there. And that's what they were doing. They were basically just looking for someone to grief. And yeah, I'm pretty sure they probably ended up regretting it. Although, I doubt it just because they were so diehard. Like, I'm just surprised. Once I got my friends over there, they didn't give up either. Like, the guy just kept getting spawn killed by shotguns. And like I said, this went on for like almost two hours. Like, we were spawn killing the one guy with shotguns over and over again. And I just kept killing his friends every single time. And then we even tried to do things like hog tie him and stuff, which he was, you couldn't hog tie him. It was actually impossible to hog tie the guy just because of that glitch. Like, so it was just, it was just really, really crazy, man. But I don't want to make this video like really, really long. I mean, you could see it through the compass slash just the guy sometimes on my screen is spawning out of thin air. But this dude is literally spawning next to us every single time and i just wanted to show you guys this because rockstar really needs to fix this glitch like as soon as possible because if people start to abuse this this is really cheap especially when you're doing it in a posse or whatever like this Alrighty, guys well, that's going to pretty much do it for the video i really hope you have enjoyed it if you have will you please like the video for me be sure to subscribe for future videos and i really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out